The objective within this lesson is to subtract decimals using place value strategy and relate those strategies to a written method. How do I go about subtracting 5 tenths minus 2 tenths? Since the units are alike, I can think of subtracting 5 and 2. 5 minus 2 is 3, and since I'm working with tenths, then that's equal to 3 tenths. How do I write 3 tenths as a number? It equals 0 0.3. With our numbers, 5 tenths minus 2 tenths, we line up our places. 5 minus 2 is 3. And so our answer in this case is 3 tenths. Read with me. 5 tenths minus 2 tenths equals 3 tenths. Let's work on our next problem. 7 ones 5 thousandths minus 2 ones 3 thousandths. We'll use a place value chart to help us figure out this answer. We'll model our first number, 7 ones 5 thousandths. In this case, we're taking away two ones, three thousandths. Taking away the thousandths first. One, two, three. Now taking away the two ones. One, two. Leaving us with the number five point zero zero two. Showing this problem as numbers. 7 ones 5 thousandths, 7.005, subtract 2 ones 3 thousandths. 5 minus 3 is 2, and we have zeros in the hundredths place and also in the thousandths place, and then 7 minus 2 ones is 5 ones. So our answer, 5 and 2 thousandths just as we have shown with our place value chart as well. Here's another problem, 83 tenths minus 6.4. Let's use a place value chart, and we'll model our first number, 83 tenths. 83 tenths is equal to 8 ones. and 3 tenths. Now when I want to subtract 6 and 4 tenths, I want to subtract 4 tenths here except there's only 3. I regroup one of the ones and I regroup it on over to the tenths place. And so 1 1 equals 10 tenths. And then now I can go ahead and subtract my 4 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I can also subtract my 6 ones. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm left with the number 1.9. Show my work. 8 and 3 tenths, subtract 6 and 4 tenths. 3 minus 4 can't do it. 8 becomes a 7 and the 3 can become 13. That's just like I had regrouped in my picture. 13 minus 4 is 9, and 7 minus 6 is 1. So my numbers approach matches what I did in my place value chart to solve this problem. Again, I regroup one of those 1s to 10 tenths. Okay, you try one. Use a place value chart and use numbers. Pause the video while you do your work. Okay, we'll model the 8 and 3 tenths. And then let's go ahead and subtract the 6 ones and 5 tenths. Subtracting the 5 tenths first, not enough to, re to subtract. So we'll take one of them and regroup. Oh, 
Okay, now I can subtract the 5 tenths, leaving us with 8, and then I can also subtract the 6 ones, leaving us with 1. So we have 1.8. Is that what you got? Did you write the numbers correctly? 8 becomes a 7, 3 becomes 13, 13 minus 5 is 8, and 7 minus 6 is 1. So our numbers approach matches our place value approach. This problem did involve regrouping. Here we're asked to subtract 0.73 from 6. Numerically, it will look like this. We rewrite 6 as 6.00, and then we can go ahead and write out the 0.73. And then there's going to be some regroups as we work through that problem. In our place value chart, it looks like this. 1s, tenths, hundredths. We start with six or six ones. And in order to subtract seven tenths and three hundredths, we have to regroup. We take one of those ones. One of those ones equals ten tenths. And then we take one of those tenths to regroup it to the hundredths. One tenth equals ten hundredths. And then we can subtract one, two, three, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can count them. That's five point two seven as our answer. Showing our work within our numbers, 6 becomes a 5, so in the tenths place can become a 10. Tenths then becomes a 9, in the hundreds place it becomes 10. 10 minus 3 is 7, 9 minus 7 is 2, and 5 minus 0 is 5. So that's our work to be able to show that whole number 6 minus the decimal number 0.73, 73 hundredths. Okay, your turn to try. What will you do here? Pause the video while you do your work. You start with five ones. You regroup one of the ones in the tenths place. You get ten of them. And then how many are you subtracting? Two tenths. And you're also subtracting three ones. So you're left with one one and eight tenths. Here's your work with numbers. Notice I did add a tenths place here, so that we have the same number of places that we're subtracting there. 5 becomes a 4, 0 becomes 10, 10 minus 2 is 8, and 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 and 8 tenths is your answer. Check your work.